it boosted me. It boosted inspiration. It boosted my uh, self-esteem. It boosted. Um, it, I did everything I told myself I couldn't do. Better, occupational, outcomes, with simulation, training, boost. Better Occupational Outcomes with Simulation Training, also known as BOOST, is an innovative program funded by the U.S. Department of Labor. BOOST is a training program designed to enhance Robeson Community College's commitment to provide students with new pathways to healthcare careers. The program utilizes high-tech simulators and virtual reality to train students with no previous healthcare experience. Using the technology and online coursework, students can earn one of a variety of healthcare-related stackable credentials within two semesters. The Boost program is designed to quickly prepare students for immediate entry-level employment in healthcare. Students can enter the workforce or choose to advance their education by pursuing additional degrees in allied health at Robeson Community College. Well, Boost to me means it gives chances and opportunities to people that normally wouldn't have these opportunities. I personally am an older student and I lost my husband two years ago after being supported by him for 15 years. And when I lost him, after shaking it off, I was totally lost. I went on the internet, was going to try to get a job, and I realized that it was not like it was 20 years ago when I was in the workforce. I was unemployable. I was just totally unemployable. I did not even have the skills to fill out an application on the internet. So then, I remember that years ago, I go to the unemployment office and get a job. I tried that. I left there crying because I was not employable. And Miss Meekins from the program out here, she stopped me in the hallway and she gave me a paper for the Boost program. And my pride wouldn't let me go in the back and talk to him about it at that time, but I went home and I read that paper and I thought about it. And I came out here to RCC and I went to the Boost office and I talked with Miss Deborah Branch. And she explained to me that I could start out with something as simple as a CNA because you have to realize I hadn't been in school or in the workforce in 15, 20 years. And so I said, okay, that sounds simple enough. So I, I enrolled, and then I found out that they, they provided stackable credentials. That you could you start out your CNA, and you, you go from there, and you can actually become an RN right here through the Boost program. And they, they guide you through the things. They, they give me academic counseling so that I would understand what courses I needed to start with so that I could be prepared for the next level of courses, so that I could be prepared for the actual program and that I'm, I'm no longer lost, I'm no longer unemployable, I'm no longer just out there pitiful and floating. The Boost program offers so much to Robinson County, so much, but there's the unemployment rate around here is awful because most people don't have the education to get a job. What well, Boost means to me is continuance of education, which is, uh, it, it kind of motivates me to, as, an, as a vet, to continue my school. One of my friends, I said, you in Boost, you in Boost? They said, yes, I'm in Boost, I'm in Boost. I said, great. So that's what Boost really means to me. It helps people and it's a great program. Boost is very motivational. Um, it pushes you to do better for yourself. Boost has been a tremendous help and inspiration to me. When I first decided to go back to school, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. And they helped me determine a career path and set short and long-term goals that would help me get through school and continue pursuing the career I want. Boost means to me an opportunity to grow in the field of nursing and it was the best decision that I could possibly make. The simulation labs, they actually helped me pass my nursing assistant skills test on the first try. Well, my short-term career is right now is in EMT, EMS. Um, my long-term goal is to be a surgeon. The main short-term goal is to get my associate's degree in EMS and become a paramedic and work in the field for a while, get the experience, and then once I get plenty of experience, I want to go back to school and get eventually get my master's degree so I can teach um, emergency medical science. 